So, hello everybody. Driven by Moss 24.6 is out. What a high number. And it brings quite some new features for the Oxy One sequencer. So you can use my implementation of Bitwig Studio as well as Cocos Reaper. And it works pretty the same on both doors. I will not go into much detail with Reaper, but nevertheless, at the end, I will also show a bit of the Reaper implementation. And the biggest new feature is that we have now the drum XOX mode, which means a kind of roll-on style sequencer. And to enter that mode in from the mixer view, press again the arranger button, and there you end up here in a drum XOX mode, which means we have 16 clips of the selected track on the top, so you can directly and fastly switch between those 16 clips, duplicate them, play them, and so on. Then you have access to 16 trumpets to play them as well. And then you have 96 steps of that selected drum to play them. And then you have 96 sequence steps to play with the selected drum pad. So let's try that out. We can simply create a new clip by pressing here shift and record. And we get here a new empty clip of one bar it is. But you can also change the length. But nevertheless, let's start with one bar. So that's the snare. Let's start with the bass drum. And let's say we want to have two bars, so we can go up to six bars here on one page, but you can also switch pages. Nevertheless, let's go here with two bars, and to do so, we can press the end button and to select the last pad you want to play. So we have now two bars playing. Maybe we can show that here in a sequencer. So here you see the two bars. You can do also more, you can go three up to six. And you could also switch by pressing Y diff. You go to the controlling of the pages. So you could also go to the second page and have also access to more. But I think six bars is already pretty a lot, which you can see in one view, which is really, really nice to have. So let's also add here some bass drums to that one. Let's do it like this. Then you switch here to the snare, which is the second one. Add some snare. Let's add hi-hats. Oh, maybe a little, bit, a little bit less. And we can do ratcheting as well. You can do ratcheting by pressing LFO. And if you press it once, you get two more. We have three and four. You can go as much as you want. And if you want to decrease it, press step chord and you can go back down. But maybe let's go with three here. And let's do some random stuff with the other sounds. And to duplicate the playing clip, simply press the duplicate button and you have a new version of that and it directly starts playing back. And here, for example, we could shorten the end to, let's say, only this short thing and we want to have here a kind of break. Let's stop that. And you can also edit that. So if you long press it, you see the mod button will go on, which is the sign that editing is on. So for example, we could change the panorama, put that one to the left, put that one here to the right, put that one also a bit to the left and that one to the right and make the last one a little bit louder. So let's check out that. So let's go back to that. And you can also start that with shift. So we have the alternate starting where it only plays as long as it's pressed. And we are back to the normal one. So really nice for jamming as well. Sure, you can also delete a button if you press here the delete button, which is that one. 
press the delete and it's gone. You can also create longer notes down there. So for example, if you have also maybe some notes or sounds which make sense to play them longer, you can simply press two buttons. So press the first one and then the second one, and then you can also create longer notes. And you can also do that to existing notes. For example, if we would say we want to have this bass drum longer, which does not make, ah, we're still in edit mode. And if you want to make that one longer, keep the first one pressed and press the second one so you made this note longer as well. But there is more, there is with the mute button, if you press the mute button, you can select the clip without starting the playback, which is nice if you want to edit it and then later start it or create a variation of it and then start it when you are done. So that you could switch between the clips without starting the playback. Maybe let's hear that so I can now switch between the two ones and only the first one is playing. And the second row does the same for a drum pad, so you can select a drum pad without making it sound. So you can select it also for editing without hearing it. And then we have mutes. So you could mute everything here basically. And the last one is solo, so you could solo the bass drum or the hi-hat and the bass drum and switch it off again. And you cannot change only the end of the clip cycle, you can also change the start, so by pressing in it you could say you want to start it here. And the length will be kept as you see, so if you also want to change the end you would need to go here. And you can go back to the beginning, fix the end. And you can also duplicate notes, which will keep all the settings and variations you did to them. This works like this. For example, if you have a longer note, you can also keep here the duplicate button pressed. And if you press it the first time, it will be saved. And if you press it the second time, it will be inserted. And you can do this multiple times as well with the same note. So much for the drum XOX sequencer, but there's another new sequencer, the raindrop sequencer. So let's go here with a different sound. Let's go with the polysynth. And this sequencer works best if you use 32 bars. So let's do that. And I will explain to you why. Because it always creates a number of notes, so the same note, but at a certain interval. And to make this interval work with the eight pads we have here, it should be 32 bars. You can go with less, but you will get different results, maybe also interesting results. It's up to you. But this is a good start. So let's see what happens. So you enter the raindrops mode if you go with the sequences and it's the last one where you see the notes at the bottom and the idea is to create a kind of raindrop and it falls down and when it's at the bottom it creates a sound and makes this note sound. So let's hear that, start here the clip. And you see it created these intervals and it's also important when you press that note, so if you want to have it on the one you need to count a bit, one, two, three, four, bam. And you can create more than one note. So you can create really nice polyrhythms. You can also go higher if you, again, Go here in edit page, we're already here in the edit page and here you can change the range so you can scroll up. Also use higher notes. And we can also switch to a more interesting sound. Maybe it's always good to, to have some percussive sounds with that sequencer so you could really use percussion. So tuned percussion work best, also some rimba maybe, uh, some mallet sounds.
Oh, nice. Oh, with some plugs. You can also go very high speed. <laughs> so really fun uh, to play and experiment with that raindrop sequencer. And another feature that was simply missing so far is you could not access yet the automation. So this is also now possible. And to enter automation mode, and to enter automation mode, you press the shift button and press mod, and then you are in automation mode. And there's only one functionality, so you can select the mode and let's close down that you will see then it will change here the different modes you can go to touch or write or back to read and even on the reaper you have more features for that so let's quickly switch over to reaper so here we are in Reaper and it looks absolutely the same. First, let's check out also the new write mode. So here you see we have different modes in Reaper. We have trim and read, read only, touch, latch, and there's also latch preview and write. So here you can also now select the automation write modes. And also here we have the drum XOX view. So we can use it exactly the same way as we had here in Bitwig, but we need a loop for that. So we need a loop for that. And there you could also create here bass drums and snares. I did not load any plugin here just to show you that it works exactly the same. And it will then also create the same sounds. So here is also the raindrop sequence. It works exactly the same. You should also create here longer clips to make that work. And let's run that. And you see it's already jumping around. And here it's also the same idea. So that's it for that time. Lots of cool new features. I hope you like it, dig it. And until next time, make some funky music.